Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Color Valley Cooks, and today we're doing a very popular appetizer for the holidays, cocktail meatballs. Great appetizer, cocktail meatballs. Gotta make some, so today we're making them fresh, not using the frozen kind, and we're gonna use the mixer to mix them up. We're gonna use two pounds of ground sirloin. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in the mixer. All right, we're gonna put in about nine ingredients into the meatballs. We're gonna use, um, let's see, where to start? Parsley. We're gonna use a third cup of parsley, which is a lot, which is probably gonna be about all I got. These are parsley flakes. So make sure you get you a good, I still got about half a jar left, that's pretty good. So this is going in. A couple of tablespoons of onion flakes. There's one, two, half a teaspoon of salt, about a quarter teaspoon of pepper, sauce. That thing is rocking back and forth. Soy sauce. Two tablespoons. It's a third cup of ketchup and let me look, see about where that's going to be. I'm just I'm going to go almost to the half in between the quarter and the half cup. Go ahead and have your oven preheated to about 400 degrees. Now the only thing we got left to go in here are two eggs. Everything's two, so I'm putting putting them on one side or the other. Except for the ketchup. Now the only thing left is a cup of crushed cornflakes. So we're gonna need about a cup of crushed cornflakes, so it's gonna take more than a cup before you crush it. So I just put a quart size storage bag about full. And I'm just going to use a heavy glass and smash them. It's got a little bit too much air in it. Let me get rid of some of the air. If you don't want to crush corn flakes, you could always use breadcrumbs. A half cup. Let's see how good I did on my eyeballing. Really very good. And pour them all in there. Perfect. Now we're just going to mix it up. It's a lot easier to use the mixer than to use your hands when you're making a lot of something like this. That's all there is to it. We're gonna take um, this off the mixer and then we're gonna make them into balls. Now we're gonna make cocktail meatballs out of these, but I was gonna tell you that if you, uh, 
side. Want to, you can mix these up ahead of time and freeze them and then get them out and bake them right before the holidays. We're just going to make them about meatball size. Now, I am not going to cook them to start with in the sauce. I'm just going to brown them good first. And then we'll dunk them. Now, some people like to cook the sauce on them. If you want to, you can do that. You can mix up your sauce, dunk them, and then cook them. But I think that's a little messy. We're going to do it opposite. That way we'll get a little bit of uh, texture on the outside of our meatball and it won't be real soft. Of course, they're good soft. All right, we got 48 meatballs. So if you wanted to have that recipe, you can make 24. And I mean, everybody's gonna be a little bit different if you, according to how big you roll them. But mine were about walnut size, pretty big walnut. But by the time they shrink just a little bit, now this is sirloin, so it won't shrink like chuck or ground beef would. So remember that too, make sure you get sirloin. All right, the meatballs are done. I went ahead and got one. It's, it's took them about, um, right about, right at 30 minutes or 27 minutes, something like that. Just take one out with a fork, you know, put it somewhere and check it and make sure the center is nice and done and they look done to me. So we're gonna get these out of the oven. Set them on the stove top. Now we're going to make some cocktail sauce for them. And I'm going to turn on a saucepan. Take it down to about a medium heat. We're going to use a jar of Heinz chili sauce at 12 ounce. Use the whole thing. A couple of tablespoons of brown sugar packed. A couple of tablespoons of lemon juice. About half of a lemon should work. in a can, a 14 ounce can of uh, cranberry sauce. Get that in here. Let that melt down in there. That's all there is to it. A little brown sugar, cranberry sauce, chili sauce, there's still a little left in the jar here. Simple, but so delicious. Something everybody loves, cocktail meatballs. And they like cocktail weenies too. So you can use this sauce for your um, little smoky weenies as well. Now, a lot of people, I know Mama did, she would make this in the crock pot and just let it sit in the crock pot. It takes a minute to get this cranberry uh, to melt down in here good. And Mama always made these. Mama made these when she catered a lot. So I think y'all will enjoy the recipe. So I'm going to pour this up in a bowl. And for the party, you should put them in something that's going to keep them warm like a crock pot. 
unless you just want to warm them up and put them on the table. But a lot of people do serve them in the crock pot. Some of them got pretty dark in there. You can cook them at a lower temperature if you want to. I just didn't want to wait forever on them. They're nice and soft. Have plenty of flavor. They're really good. I think when they sit in the crock pot for a little while in the sauce, they'll be even better. But they're so big because it is sirloin that if I were going to make them again, I think I'd make them a little bit smaller with sirloin. Now, if you use ground beef, they're going to shrink up more. Or ground chuck. But if you use sirloin... They're really not going to get a lot smaller, so keep that in mind. They're really delicious. Thanks for watching Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Bye, y'all. Love ya.